So we don't know if this is just me, but has Battlefield 2042 lost a little bit of its hype? I mean, since the beta, for me anyway, and for visually when I look on Twitter, Reddit, these different platforms, you kind of see that the hype train is on a little bit of a decline. I don't know if again, if that's just me, but we're going to discuss that a little bit further in this video, guys. Let me know what you think down below. Drop a like on this video, subscribe for plenty of videos coming. Let's get into it. Hey guys and welcome. In today's video I wanted to go over and discuss and just basically put it out there and see what your guys thoughts and opinions are on this and has Battlefield 2042's hype slowly starting to decline or has it declined since the likes of the beta. Now of course when the beta was first announced with the beta trailer everyone was really really hyped for it and yeah it was just we haven't heard anything from Battlefield since like Gamescon or the Xbox event so everyone was really really interested in the hype to play this game for the first time. When it comes around to it of course they say that the version of the beta is a couple of months old also there's a couple of issues graphical issues bugs and things that will be present in this build of the beta but they have fixed or will fix for the final build of the game and of course for those that played the beta know that they were just a little bit more than minor graphical glitches or minor bugs or animation issues there were a multitude of problems with the beta and, and to be honest is a little bit concerning to basically say that we're only a month or so away from launch and yet we've just played a version of the game which is virtually unplayable sometimes on some platforms and then of course when the beta finished hazard zone was announced properly through a trailer which dice in the end um, battlefield release and of course it was not what everyone expected we expected it to be some gritty dark mode which had to really tailor your play style around the different scenarios in the map you'd be a part of a team of four you could loot different things you could go to different areas on the map out of free will you could essentially fight the bosses on the map extract and then as an option for the storyline collect these data drives but of course as we know and as it's been announced the way the game mode is going to work is that you spawn into a map you have the objective to collect these data drives and then you extract so there's no looting as far as we know there's nothing else to it other than just collecting data drives and then extracting for me a really really big missed opportunity but on the back of that i just feel like the the hype has died down a little bit on the back of that i'm not saying that nobody's now going to buy the game everyone thinks it's terrible and everyone hates it i mean that the excitement that everyone was feeling and the excitement that you can see on twitter and even youtube in the comments and some of the videos that i did were a lot of the comments were really positive saying oh i can't wait for this game this escape from tarkov has its own type of mode is going to be amazing I really can't wait to play portal etc but now there's not really too much of that again we still get a lot of people stating that you know they're going to be excited for the game they've bought the game but then also you get a lot of comments saying that people that have cancelled their pre-orders or people just are not going to buy the game anymore and with it not being free to play at the moment or having any part of it being free to play as we know so far it's going to really hinder the performance of this game. By performance, I mean sales and people playing the game and things like that. I feel like it's 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 not going to outperform Warzone. I can tell you that now for a fact. It never will. And I don't think it's going to outperform Vanguard either. Especially if there's not a free-to-play aspect of this game. I feel like with Vanguard and Warzone, they're in such a powerful position at the moment. With both of them being on the same engine, there being a new map coming out as well. Vanguard feeling the same as Warzone as well. And of course, the weapons in Vanguard are going to carry on over to Warzone. So whatever you rank up in Vanguard is going to carry on over to Warzone as well. So it gives you a reason to buy that game. At the moment, I can't really think of a reason other than Battlefield Portal. Or if you're a hardcore Battlefield fan and just play it, I can't think of a reason to really tell you to buy this game. From what I've played, it does not seem finished. And I'd be very, very surprised that a month extra which they've delayed the game is going to really help with the health of the game i feel like this game needs to be delayed by an additional year to really really bug fix everything get everything working and release it fully finished next year again i mentioned battlefield 1 in my previous video and how finished and finalized and how good that game looks for something that came out in what i think 2015 something like that maybe even earlier i don't know i think it was around 2015 or so that game came out and it looked absolutely stunning a 2021 battlefield game that comes out i would expect to look absolutely outrageous but again it just didn't look or feel very appealing don't get me wrong there are good parts of battlefield 24 too i enjoyed the base i thought it was a lot of fun but i expected a lot more from a game especially like the likes of battlefield in 2021 if they can create a game like battlefield one five six seven years ago i'm expecting really high standards from battlefield 2042 of course battlefield 5 was not the greatest game in the world but graphically the game looks a lot better and things like animation wise are much better than what they are in 2042 stuff like that like for the assassinations in 2042 there's one assassination one 
assassination. I don't know. And the animations for different vehicles, climbing up ladders, just the, the third person animation and the view that you can see of your teammates running and stuff like that. It's just the animations are not there. Again, these are small things, but for a Battlefield game that's been in production for five plus years, I would really expect this stuff to be ironed out. Look. I sincerely hope that Battlefield 2042 is going to succeed because I want to play this game a lot. I hope this game is launched and I hope that the extra month that they've essentially delayed the game is enough for them to polish the game and to make it an enjoyable experience for everyone that buys it. I really do. And I really hope that the fourth mode or the free to play elements of the game is going to be fun and worth playing. For me, it has to rather be a battle royale, which I think it actually will be a battle royale, similar to what they did with Warzone. And I did a video on that yesterday, so go check it out if you want to hear more about that. But I think it will rather be a battle royale. Or I think that they'll monitor the success of Hazard Zone, the feedback from Hazard Zone from people who bought the game, and eventually change that to free to play down the line. I can't really see anything else happening. Portal will not be free to play. I can guarantee that now for a fact. And all that warfare is obviously what Battlefield is, so that will come with the game. So it has to rather be Hazard Zone eventually or a battle royale coming sort of early next year around march time which i think is what's going to happen but i don't know guys it's a bit rocky at the moment in the battlefield scene i think that battlefield in general again is is it i think it's in an okay place i don't think it's in a great place if you if you rewind two months i'd say battlefield 24 to do was in an insane place like everyone was so hyped for the game everyone was really looking forward to it i think everyone was a bit affected and jumped into the hype pool around the leaks now i know this is something that i i I would hold my hands up and say I definitely did this, especially with Hazard Zone as well. It just goes to show that if you jump into the, the pool of leaks that sound really, really cool and uh, you kind of don't have the confirmation of what things are and you're kind of not just making it up, but trying to piece it together when not knowing anything about it, you're going to be left disappointed. So for me, I'm not going to say I'm disappointed with the game because we didn't know anything about Hazard Zone to start with and we didn't get to play the game before the beta or see anything of the game before the beta. So I would say my expectations were not met during the beta but again that was because of my, me reading these leaks and expecting more but again it just goes to show you can't trust all the leaks that come out nothing is finalized until dice or battlefield or the publisher or the devs or the actual company itself tweet out or give information about what the game or mode is going to be like so again guys yeah I don't know. I feel like Battlefield, again, the hype is dying down a little bit or has died down a little bit since the beta, especially with the shit show of the beta on current and previous gen consoles. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's it's going to be a bit of a rocky start. Maybe some people are going to hesitate to buy the game, uh, but I still think that it's going to do really well this year. And I still think that the game itself, when it's all uh, up to date, fixed, everything is uh, you know finalized polished i think we're going to be in for a great game but uh hope you guys have enjoyed today's video drop a like if you have let me know down below in the comments what you think and yeah subscribe if you are brand new ring that notification bell to be notified when a video does go live each and every single day and yeah we'll see you all in the next one